715-565-7800. There'll be a hot time in the old town when Jack takes Mr. Roper's niece on a date on Three's Company this morning at 11. Before they caught me, I managed to call April. Did you tell her to call the police? No, no, I told her to hold off on it until I saw whether I could get you out of here. Who knows? Maybe this time she didn't listen to me either. Since I didn't show up, maybe she decided to take some action on her own. You mean she might have figured that you need help? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hi, gang. Miss me. Got a little surprise for you. I tried so hard to keep you out of this. Are you all right, Trevor? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look, why did you come here? Why did you let him talk you into it? I was such a fool. Um, he, uh, he told me, he told me we're gonna go see Emily. She's, she's gonna tell me the truth. Look, just tell me one thing. What? Did you call the police? No, you oh. told me not to. I'm sorry, I didn't know. He, he I told me. Okay, reunion time's no. over. Edge of Night is brought to you by Coast Soap, the refreshing soap that brings you back to life. Coast deodorant soap, the eye opener. And by New Formula Era, a new combination of powerful cleaners concentrated into one quarter cup. When we set out to improve a great laundry detergent, we wanted to keep in powerful cleaners to work on ordinary dirts. Powerful cleaners to cut through food stains. Powerful cleaners to get out grease and oil. And to make it better, we'd add powerful cleaners to clean collar soil even better than before. So that's what we did. All in the concentrated quarter cup called New Formula Era. A laundry formula so effective, it can clean, clean through. Just watch how Era cleans through collar soil, taco grease, and motor oil. We treat only the top stain with a teaspoon of Era, rub, run under warm water, and look. New Era cleans, clean through all three layers. That's the kind of cleaning you get with just a little bit of new era. So if you're still using powders, why not try the power concentrated in Era's little quarter cup? New formula era, power that cleans clean through. Uh-uh, babysitting means sitting. Oh, come on, Grandma. Lillian Kimmel is pooped. She needs Coast Deodorant Soap, the eye-opener. No other soap refreshes like Coast with its exhilarating scent. No soap has bubblier lather. Coast brings you back to life. That's what we call cut and rub. Bring yourself back to life with Coast, the eye-opener. It'll be painless, Kenneth. Just think of it as euthanasia. A mercy killing? For whose mercy, Beth? Ours. <sighs> Yours and mine. And for your daughter, too, for that matter. Oh, that's right. Now, you haven't thought of Valerie at all, have you? You've been under a great deal of tension these last years, Kenneth, but that's all going to change now. Oh, yes, things will change. We'll be living with something more insidious. Fear. No, Kenneth. Not if we act calmly and reasonably. A calm and reasonable murder. We're just going to put them to sleep. There'll be no violence. Will you be quiet? I don't want to hear your voice. I don't want to hear the monstrous things you're saying. 
We have to talk about this, Kenneth. You know, Beth, there was a time when I devoted my entire life to trying to express my gratitude to you. The way you helped me when I was a starving medical student. The way you supported me when I was left alone in the world with a baby daughter. You made me what I am today. Well, you'll be proud of yourself again, Kenneth. I promise you that. And I'm even more grateful to you now. For an entirely different reason. And what's that? that? These past few weeks have shown me exactly why I stopped loving you. No. Oh, me. More company, Doc. Listen, I don't know. I don't know what you people are all up to, but there are people who know exactly where I am. Don't listen to her, Doc. I got the truth out of her before I brought her in here. What truth? She didn't call the cops. She didn't know that Nancy Carl was here. We're home free. You sure, Sharky? I'm positive, Mrs. B. There's nothing standing in our way. Chief, give me a break, will you? I mean, you know, my car is over at the DA's office now, and Draper's out at East Meadow. I'm in that office all by myself. Now, what are people going to say? Oh, Cliff Nelson, great lawyer when he works for somebody else, but you put him on his own and he falls apart. What do you want from me, Nelson? Special favors? Your client was caught with the goods. That's why he was indicted, and that's why he's going to be in court tomorrow. But I'm going to be in court with him, with egg on my face. I thought you were going to bargain for a plea. I tried to. Went to my car himself. I wouldn't hear it. Something about my client having a bad record. <laughs> I could have told you that. He's got a yellow sheet as long as my arm. Yeah, well, I was wondering if, um... Well, I just didn't want you to be upset when, uh, I brought out all the irregularities in the case. What are you talking about? Well, you know, judges throw cases out of court when the police, uh, don't follow proper procedure. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Are you asking me to blow the whistle on one of my cops? Well, there is something, isn't there? No, there isn't. There's a routine arrest handled by the book. Well, I don't want to embarrass you in court now. You're positive. Yes. Okay. All right. You don't have to get upset. I mean, just doing my job. Can't win them all. <laughs> You have got more damned nerve than anybody I've ever met. With the possible exception of Raven. What? Oh, well, that's uh, another reason why I came here. I, I wanted to wish you congratulations. Thank you. I uh, was going to say commiserations, but I don't think you want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, no. I'll bet you don't. You must be going through a lot of flack because of this. Well, let me uh, join a long line of people who think you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Nelson, if this meeting is over, I've got other work to do. Hey, it, it's not because I don't think she's a beautiful woman. But... Thanks. I mean, when Raven walks into a room, it's like <sighs> there's no other female alive. Have a good day in court tomorrow. Yeah, have a good day in church tomorrow, or whenever it is. It's going to be the city hall and the mayor's office. Whenever it is, I will make sure you get an announcement. No invitation? No. Oh. I guess that means no invitation. <laughs> well, it's just as well I, uh... Well, what I really want to say is... <sighs> hey, how long have we been working together, huh? A year and a half? I think you're a nice guy. Ah, your macho act is a little much for me to handle, but that's just the way you are, you know? And to see you up at that altar, about to be devoured by that barracuda, I don't think I could take it. I guess I'm too sensitive. If you were sensitive, you would realize that you are no longer welcomed in this office. Me? Hey, what did I do? Don't let the doorknob hit you in the back. Hey, uh... Bet you Raven told you that she would change. Turn over a new leaf, huh? Well, don't you believe it. I like her just the way she is. Yeah? 
change that name to Derek Masochist. And it just is pounding. Will you try extra strength Tylenol? You know, you can't buy a more potent pain reliever without a prescription. Is that right? Look at the difference in the amount of medicine in the leading pain relievers. The extra strength Tylenol has more pain reliever. I would like to try it. How's your headache? It's gone. I feel like getting back to work. I will use extra strength Tylenol. Extra strength Tylenol. Aspirin free. And you can't buy a more potent pain reliever without a prescription. I think I can handle it now, do you? I think you'll do it better tomorrow morning. I'm not improving much, am I? You're getting better. It's just that you're slowing down. I don't think we're going to get any more accomplished. Remember rule one? Never dance when you're tired. And rule two? Never get tired. I've got another rule for you. Don't dance when you have things on your mind. You soon go to your feet. It shows, doesn't it? It even shows on you. What Miles told us about Martine, doesn't matter to me. Yes, it does. Kevin, I know it does. You don't want Martine to leave Monticello. I'm sure of it. It may be the best thing she can do. What, uh, out of sight, out of mind? There's nothing for her here, Jody. The dancing opportunities are in places like uh, New York and L.A. She may even have to think about going abroad. Okay, people, that's enough for today. Why don't you go take a bath? You'd like her all those miles away just so you wouldn't have to think about her. That's the real truth, isn't it? I don't think about married women, Jody. Have you really been able to just turn it off? I mean, all the feelings you had for her are just gone. I had to learn to do that, Jody, in New York when she left me for Sky Whitney. So you see, I'm experienced. And with her going back to New York, well, maybe it's the best thing. A clean break's the best. I learned that when I had my leg broken. Hello! For Pete's sake, Raven, what are you doing here? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I'd come see how my old friends were doing. Well, we're doing just fine, thanks. Good. Skyron, I thought he might be here. No, he was here this morning, but he left. Not discouraged, I hope. No, actually, we're through for today, too. So if you came for a free dancing exhibition, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is just a friendly visit. And uh, I really didn't come to see Sky, so if you uh, run into him, you don't have to mention that I asked for him. Don't worry, Raven. I intend to forget it anyway. Oh, you're a sweet boy. <laughs> By the way, do you teach ballroom dancing? Are you kidding? No. I'm going to get married to Derek Mallory, and he is horrible in the dance floor. Well, I'm sorry. No ballroom dancing. No, oh, too bad. Hi, Jody. Still planning to be tomorrow's big dance star. Maybe the day after. <laughs> Well, um, I guess I'll be on my way. Lovely to see you two again. Bye -bye. What do you suppose that was all about? About nothing at all, just more of Raven Swift's fun and games. Well, can I get you anything? Would you like some coffee? No, or tea? no, no, thank you. Okay, you said you wanted to come over tonight to talk about the future. Just sit down and relax. Jody, I wanted to explain to you why I tried to talk you out of joining the dance company. You wanted to see how strong my sense of commitment was. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. You know that Sky is going to be investing a lot of money on you. And he can count on me 100%. I know. We both believe that. And I just want you to know that personally, I'm very happy that you're going to be in the company. Uh, Mrs. Swift. Raven. Raven, right. There's uh, still one thing that confuses me. What's that? Where do you fit in? I mean, are you part of the Whitney Dance Company? Well, I don't exactly have a title, but um, why don't I just say that you can bet I'm going to be behind all the scenes.
Mrs. Swift, hello. Why, detective? Oh, don't tell me. You're not taking dance lessons. <laughs> no, I just had some questions to ask Gavin Wiley about an old friend of his. Nothing very heavy. Oh, well, I hope he's nicer to you than he was to me. Mrs. Swift, are you in a hurry? Uh, no. You have time for a drink with me. You. What? Drowning nature's vegetables in that heavy oil. Crisco oil's light. Light? No oil tastes lighter. So? So there's no heavy oily taste. Mom! On your salad. Here, nature girl. Mm, no heavy oily taste. This is so organic. I think it's delicious. Huh? Why do Crisco oil salads taste great? No heavy oily taste. And Crisco oil has no cholesterol. Great dinner, Herb. I love the fish. It was steak and the greasy mess it left. Ugh. Use the Dawn, Herb. Dawn will handle that grease. Dawn, huh? Here's why. Half a cup of grease added to dishwater. Dawn breaks up grease, surrounds it, takes grease out of your way, helps keep it from settling back on your dishes. Everything came out great. Dishes, pots, pans. Even my hands don't feel greasy. With Dawn, I'll do dinner anytime. Give me a break. <gasps> Dawn takes grease out of your way. What you want from a soft perm is soft, full body that won't wear down before it's time. Introducing new Lilt Soft Perm. It's designed to last with a unique new system of conditioned sponge end wraps and an ammonia-free lotion. Gentle enough for color-treated hair, effective enough to build in lasting body. For timelessly beautiful hair now and weeks and weeks from now, new Lilt Soft Perm for soft, full body that stands up to time. My, 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 you certainly think a lot of yourself, don't you? I mean, it's fascinating. It, it is, really. So, um, so you spent all that time in Europe? Well, it wasn't all that long, about 18 months. I spent six months on the continent and the rest of the time in London. London? My stepfather lives in London. Oh, does he? That's very interesting. So, what were you doing there? Well, I happen to be working on a case with Interpol that originated here in the States. My goodness. I guess Derek was very lucky to have you. I don't know about his officers. I, I don't know sometimes where he gets them. Well, they seem to me to be a pretty competent group of guys. Well, you wouldn't believe the woman you replaced, Deborah Saxon. She was dreadful. Oh, really? That's interesting. You know, everybody else seems to think she was a hell of a cop. I understand she was very gorgeous, too. Red hair, baby blue eyes. Uh, have you been talking to Calvin Stoner? He just happens to be my partner. No, obviously. He's probably told you all these good things about Deborah. Don't believe them. The best thing that ever happened to that department was when she left. Oh, really? Tell me, Raven, how much time did you spend abroad? Well, I lived with my mother for a while before she died. And, of course, I've been to Paris, but who hasn't? <laughs> well, I imagine there's a lot of people who haven't made it to the left bank. You didn't happen to know Martine Duval when you were there. No, no, I didn't have the pleasure until she came to Monticello. She's a lovely lady. Very talented dancer, I understand. It's too bad she's out of work. Yeah, I suppose it is. Now, I wonder what it was that cost her that job. Want to know what I think? Lack of talent. <laughs> I thought you just said she was very talented. Uh, no, 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 I don't mean dancing talent. I think she couldn't keep her grip on her man. Oh. <laughs> That's funny, you know, I understand that you're not seeing Sky Whitney anymore either. Well, that decision was mine. I mean, that makes a difference. Of course. I uh, decided that he was wrong for me. You see, I like my men to be very stable and secure. Like the chief of police. That's right. So tell me, do you approve of this wedding? I don't know. A detective, why exactly did you want to talk to me? Well, I just wanted to get acquainted. Uh, I mean, it can't hurt to know the boss's wife. Yes, but I'm not the boss's wife yet. 
No, but you will be. Yes. I suppose I will. Well, you don't seem terribly sure. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Damien? Can I call you Damien? You see, um, women get jitters, too. I mean, it's not just men that get those. I'm sure that's true. And besides, the thought of spending my entire life with just one man, you know, that's, that's very scary. Especially when there are so many attractive men around. Listen, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, why don't you tell them about the little game you were playing at Sid's Tavern, huh? I don't want to hear it, Chuck. You see, while April was playing a uh, waitress, uh, Richie was playing Listen, orderly. I really think that you should know, Doctor. Doctor, I did call the police. Sharky heard it wrong. There's nothing wrong with my ears, honey. My husband is an attorney. My car is the district attorney. We all have friends on the police force. Do you understand what you're doing? If anything happens to any of us, they will never stop looking for you. Never! I know that! Well? I know it only too well. We'll be running for the rest of our lives. Yeah, well, you may be running, but I'm going to be lying flat on my back in some place nice and warm and friendly. And where the hell is Gideon? He should have been here with the money by now. Gideon, you don't mean uh, I wrote Gideon. The one and only. You see? She didn't know about him either. Ira Gideon's dead. Well, any minute now, he's going to be walking through that door. And if you're real lucky, you will be able to see what one million dollars in cash looks like. This should do it. God forgive us. It's Gideon! He's here! He's here! Introducing new Purina 100, the best tasting cat foods Purina puts in a can. They're 100% nutritious, 100% delicious, so juicy, so tender, they taste like a million. 100, 100, new Purina 100. Purina calls it 100, but it tastes like a million. See this ugly yellow stain? That's what comes from cigar or cigarette smoke. Just think what smoking a pack a day, every day, could do to your teeth. But look, here's Topol, the smoker's tooth polish that helps remove all kinds of superficial tobacco stains. Topol starts to work immediately to clean your teeth and to help remove these stains. Just use Topol week after week and watch your teeth get brighter and brighter. Topol, the smoker's tooth polish, regular or fluoride in 3-ounce and 7-ounce economy size. Tonight at 7, Bob has a speech prepared for the ceremonies at Emily's school. The only problem is he hasn't been invited on the Bob Newhart Show. And at 7.30, Edith ends up the cause of a lover's quarrel on All in the Family. I, uh, I don't care about Ira Gideon. It's none of my business. The only reason... We are here is, is because of Sharky. I believed that Sharky was involved in a paternity matter. Be quiet. How, uh, how in the world did you uh, keep Nancy Carr here? I mean, this is a, it's not a prison, it's a hospital. I said, shut up. Dr. Bryson, why don't you listen to Mrs. me? Mrs. Scott, do you want to see your husband again? Then keep your mouth shut. What is that? And why do you keep playing with it? What is it? What do you what do you plan on doing with it? The man of the hour is he? <sighs> and look what he has brought. Welcome, Mr. Gibbigan. I'll take that from you, sir. Heavy. It's heavy.
million dollars. A million dollars. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Oh, yes. It is lovely, Sharky. But we have things to do before we can enjoy it. No. No, the answer is no. We're not going to commit cold-blooded murder. We'll tie them up. Make sure they can't escape for at least 24 hours. That's all we need to leave the country. That's my decision, and that's final! It is, huh? Well, this is my decision, and it is more than final. You are going to take care of them. Right now. Fresh. Clean. The fresh, clean flavor of Wrigley Spearmint Gum lasts a long, long, long time. Energizer just another battery? Is a picture from outer space just another snapshot? The Energizer from Ever Ready Technology. Of all leading brands, nothing outlasts, nothing outperforms the Energizer. Ever Ready scientists made sure. Your photo flash calculator toy, they'll tell you. Energize me. The Energizer. Energize. For life. Long life. Tonight at 10, Bill Bixby attempts to translate an ancient manuscript for... It's really neat. Oh, sit down. Joanne doesn't feel her grandmother quite fits in. She's afraid the kids would laugh at her accent. She's wrong. They'd probably like her grandmother. And her grandmother would feel more a part of things, too. In shutting away her grandmother, Joanne is shutting away herself. <laughs> 